Here we are at our 1999 Lakeview. This is a 16 by 75 foot wide body aluminum hull houseboat for sale. We're here on Norris Lake where this current slip is transferable if you want to leave it right here. This is a five bedroom, two bath houseboat. It's powered by a single Mercruiser 3.0 liter Mercruiser and we're outboard engine. And a 12 and a half kW Kohler generator. Of course, we'll have the full list of specifications as well as the current asking price listed at our website, www.newernewboat.com. We usually don't mention the asking price in our video tours because the price will often change throughout a listing. The website's easy, easy to navigate. Once you get to the yournewboat.com homepage, you can click the Find Your New Boat button. That's going to show you all of our inventory in order of price. Scroll down, you'll recognize the exterior of this one. You'll see 1999 Lakeview 16 by 75 WB. That stands for wide body, meaning the cabin goes all the way to the edge. And there's no walk around on the exterior. So you'll see the price listed right there, and then you can click into the listing for more photos and the full list of specs. And as usual, there may be some personal items items that are going to be excluded from the sale of this one. Contact us through our web, website. We're always happy to provide a list of excluded items and answer any questions for you. Here at our helm station, you'll notice we got a large Raritan rotor angle indicator gauge, depth finder, Sony AM FM, CD auxiliary marine stereo with zoned audio throughout. You've got a Xantrax inverter control panel. That's a 3000 watt Xantrex inverter. New batteries, I believe about 2014 or 15. I'll have the data of that at our website. Uh, four batteries are included with that. 1568 hours showing on that Mercruz, a 3.0 liter inboard outboard engine. We have also got an MMC, which is the electronic shift control. Try to provide the full 360 tour in our video. Got a flat screen wall mount television here in the living room area. That's an electric fireplace that does put out a little bit of heat. And you can have your DVD player stowed in there. I'm guessing that's about a 32 inch, although it looks larger than that. Maybe a 40 inch. And moving on to our dining room and kitchen area. We've got some bamboo hardwood floors installed throughout the boat. Dining table here and storage cabinets. Full size electric refrigerator, double stainless sink, smooth top oven and range, built in GE microwave. Alright, moving on to our staterooms. Again, this is a five stateroom boat. First one's right off the galley, step down into a queen size cuddy. We've got a 12 volt fan, small magnet box, projection television, built in DVD player, You've got a small hanging closet, two drawers built in underneath your queen size bed, it's your vanity sink. Gonna say about six feet of headroom down here in this cuddy. I want to point this out. This is very common in house boats, especially any boat over about uh, six to eight years old, because that's about the life of your caulking around the windows from the factory. That does need to be redone periodically. This is uh, basically looks like a um, stain of an old uh, moisture intrusion. It's nice and hard now, so it's basically that's just a sign of of moisture that's gotten in in the past. Windows since been properly sealed and it is dried up. Central heat and air on this one. There's your control panel 
here. That is a Frigidaire 2.5 ton HVAC heat and air unit. Second bedroom, again we've got a 12 volt ceiling fan overhead, queen size bed, hanging closet, cedar line closets throughout, another built in vanity sink, and a flat screen sharp HD television mounted here on the wall. Just over six feet of headroom in there as well. Stepping back down to the main level, you've got your first of two staterooms. I'm sorry, you got your first of two full baths. Um, this is on the starboard side of the hallway. Large sink, medicine cabinet area. Shower stall. Walk in shower. And then these are Sea Land Dometic straight drop heads. We've got a pair of 85 gallon polypropylene waste holding tanks. One for each head. We've got three 85 gallon freshwater tanks. Two 95 gallon aluminum fuel tanks while we're on the subject. This would be Bedroom number three, another queen size bed. And stepping down for this one. Small ceiling fan overhead. Dresser drawers underneath the bed. Hanging closet here. Another Magnavox television with built in DVD player. Moving back up to the main level. Large linen closet here in the Hallway, another cedar line closet. And moving on back on the port side. Queen bedroom number four. Another queen closet. And another flat screen television mounted on the wall here. And they sink. Back down to the main level. Here's your second full bath. And they sink. Large medicine cabinet. Your second straight drop head. Walk in shower. And this would be your. Master stateroom, pocket doors on all these staterooms, by the way. Ceiling fan overhead. And 22 inch RCA LCD TV mounted master stateroom. This master bed is accessible on both sides. Night stands on either side of the bed. And we've even got a um, small storage uh, closet built in just below your master bed there. Probably not going to be able to see much in there. Just storage built in underneath that bed. I want to point that out. And another hanging closet the hallway from that master bed. Tenant windows and doors throughout this one. And we're going to head out the rear door now. We've got the engine hatch raised back here on the rear deck. That would be a look at the 3.0 liter park cruiser four cylinder airport outboard stern drive engine. rated around 130 horsepower and there's that 12 and a half kW Kohler generator but uh, 2340 hours on it uh, just under 1700 on that engine onboard battery charger over here on this side there is 
additional storage space. Here's that Frigidaire exterior unit. That's the two and a half ton HVAC unit. Swimming, swim uh, boarding ladder and swim platform here on the rear deck. Water slide coming off the roof. We'll head up that way next. And this is an old PWC uh, lift. All right, here upstairs. Here's a look off the rear of this boat. Here's your wet water slide. Again, this slip is transferable if you wanted to keep it right here. This roof was just sealed. They used uh, durethane, which is kind of an alternative to gel coat. Expect it to be a longer life than uh, gel coat. That was just done here in 2018. Canvas party top overhead. And this little bar here is not built in. This can be repositioned or move around. 